So let's try uh, this problem again uh, with some different conditions. So it says calculate the pH of a buffer solution consisting of 0.50 molar um, acetic acid and 0.50 molar sodium acetate after adding 0 0.020 moles of solid sodium hydroxide to one liter of the buffer solution in part A. So all they're saying, all they want you to do with that um, number of moles in volume is to calculate the molarity of that sodium hydroxide. That's what they need, okay? So the concentration of sodium hydroxide is going to be, of course, 0 0.020 moles divided by 1.0 liters, which equals 0 0.020 moles. Okay, everybody's okay with that, I'm sure. Okay, so let's draw up the first reaction equation that we need to use. So notice, we're putting in a strong base here, okay? That's going to react, is that going to react with the sodium acetate here? Or is it going to react with the acetic acid? What do you think? The acetic acid, right? That's what it reacts with, okay? So the first thing we've got to do is figure out what the extent of that reaction is, okay? So we've got to figure out our new starting concentrations is what we're doing, okay? So first, well, there's going to be two reaction equations we write for these buffer, buffers now, okay? So first one's going to be the reaction of that base with your weak acid. So whenever you have a weak acid and a strong base, so remember that sodium is just a spectator ion, so I'm not going to even put it in there. Okay. That goes all the way to product here. Okay. So when we do that, we're going to get CH3COO minus plus um, H2O. Thank you. Like that. Okay. Can everybody do that part of the equation? Part of that part of the problem. Got to do an ice table. That. So we started with 0 0.50 molar. Is everybody okay with that? 0 0.50 molar. What did we start here? 0 0.020 molar. Okay. What did we start here? Did we start here with something? Yeah. So 0 0.50 molar. Okay. So you see how this one's a little bit tougher because you got to figure out something to put in all. Of them. So what happens when I react with this with this? This reacts completely. Right? Everybody understand that? So, I'm going to have to subtract 0 0.020 from that. When I do that, I get 0.48 volts. Okay? I'm also going to have to subtract 0 0.020 from that. Right? Because once you react that with that, that's subtracted. Okay? It's going to give me 0. Make sense? What am I going to do here? Add. Add. Very good. So, what am I going to get down here? 0.52. Okay, so can everybody do that portion? So that gives my new initial concentrations. Okay, so now I'm going to revamp this stuff up here. Is everybody okay with what I'm doing? Okay, so this now is going to be 0.48 molar. I get that from there. And this one's going to be 0.52 molar, which I get from over there. Is everybody okay with what I've done there? Now, it's just that same problem that we did last time. Okay? So, can I erase this ice table? Did everybody get it? Okay, cool. that reacting with water going back and 
four. So, what am I going to do? Draw an I state. Like that. What's here? Very good. What's here? Very good. What about here? Everybody, what's up here? Everybody. Okay, what's here? Nice. Very good. And here? Plus X. Uh -huh. And here? Plus X. So 0 0.52 plus X. X. 0 0.48 minus X. Can we use our 5% rule here? Yes. Yeah, so it's the same problem, right? So we can use it. So let's do it. So, I'm going to erase this part down here to give me some room. Okay, so K A equals something you would have expected it to be? Something like that, right? So up, right, because it's sodium hydroxide, so that makes it more basic, but not very much, right, because it's a buffered solution. So what did it go from 4.74 to 4.78? So, okay, is everybody okay with doing these buffers? So I want you guys to try the one by adding acid on your own, okay? Any questions? Questions on this? Okay, cool.